Hello Aquarians, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do a romance reading a weekly for the 22nd of May. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, thank you for stopping by again for, for this reading. So what I'm going to be using is the Hidden Truth Oracle. We'll find out a bit about uh, your past romance. Could be way past, could be a past life, it could be just what's happening currently in your life. Uh, we'll look at the Lover's Oracle and uh, we'll be doing more in-depth reading with the Slavic Folklore Lenormand. I'll uh, clarify those with the Enchanted Lenormand and then we'll be pulling some cards to finish the reading with Animal Oracle. So we're going to get started with the Hidden Truth Oracle and see what's been going on in our Aquarians love life let's see I'm going to just take the up the the cards that turn upwards okay let's see what's going on for you guys okay first card we will be together again Aquarius I feel you leaving me behind I don't react when people mention you. Okay, so I feel you leaving me behind. I don't react when people mention you, but we will be together again. That's the right order for that. Okay, now let's see. <clears throat> okay, so uh, whoever you were with in the past, you left them and they still loved you. People... Uh, mentioned you but they didn't react they didn't respond they didn't want people to know how they were feeling about you but they know you will be together again Aquarius so let's see what the lover's oracle has to say okay so we've got so it's not in it that one is let's see if I can get some order here Okay, so we've got look deep within your heart and look, sorry, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Beautiful card here. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. I feel that goes with that card. Love hearts all over. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right, there's no wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and life. So that goes with, I thought, you leave me behind. Beautiful um, cards. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. Twin flames, your passion ignites. You will be together again. I'm just going to move those along. Romance, Cupid arrow strikes. You will be together again. Okay, will those ones go together? And this one is the healing of the heart. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. That goes at the end one. Okay, we're going to pull some cards. I'll just get these in order. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I feel you leaving me behind. There's no right, there's no wrong in your choices. Okay. And, uh, you know, this is... A constant cycle that happens in our life maybe he was resisting he or she were resisting the natural flow of life they were resisting you leaving them behind but they went with the flow this person didn't react to people when they mentioned you but they want you to know that there is a friendship there still 
And if you know that things are going to dramatically improve in your life. Okay, this person doesn't react when people mention you. But this person wants you to look deep within your heart. And you will feel inside their love for you. It's it, very deep. Deep as the ocean, they're saying. This secret admirer has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. And that's why they don't mention you when people... Or they don't react when people mention you. But they have deep feelings for you. Then they're letting on. You know, they're your twin flame. But I feel you will be together again. We will be together again. Passion ignites and Cupid's arrow strikes. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Aquarius. Let's see. More in-depth reading with the Slavic Lenormand cards. Any more upright cards, please? Okay, so we have two there. Three more. There's one more. <clears throat> okay, let's see what this is about. Okay, maybe, you know, like I said, you were together in, in um, when you were playful, when you were children, when you were younger. And, you know... Um, the child is about new beginnings coming. You've got the tower, which was about um, separation from this person. Maybe you moved away. You know, um, maybe one of us went into solitude, so to speak. But there is a promise that this person is coming back for you. Okay, Str uh, Cupid's arrow striking for you guys. Let's clarify that. So I feel like there's new beginnings in a relationship. A new promise is going to be made. You know, uh, maybe one or the other is going to take the lead in this um, scenario where you're going to meet up again. But um, maybe there's some boundaries that are put into play with this relationship. Okay, please clarify the child, the tower and the ring, please. Okay. 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 So this could be a, a Gemini person, you know, swimming in towards you. They're going with the flow. But there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion. Maybe they're going to meet you in a public place. Maybe where you used to, to go in a special park that you used to go together where there's a special monument where you carved your name, your initials in a tree perhaps. That's what I'm feeling with this card. Now let's pull some animal oracle cards for you. But, it, uh, you know, it seems like it's a movie kind of um, scenario here, Aquarius. You've got a secret admirer. It's a twin flame energy and uh, Cupid's arrow is striking again. Thank you. Let's see. Um, that one's upside down. We don't need that one. that one. Okay, so we've got quite a few cards. Okay, we've got the dove, which is uh, spirit intervening. This is about being calm. Um, the dove does represent the Lord. And... Um, We also have the black swan, which is about forgiveness. We have the whale, which is compassion. And we have the dolphin, which is emotions. Let me just gather my thoughts here. Okay, 
with the dove and I'll just move that out of the way. You know, maybe one of you made uh, time for some peace in your life, you know. Um, this is the person that left the other person. Okay, your power animal is the hippo though. But you made some time for calmness in your life. And with the black swan, it's about forgiveness. So when this person comes back into your life, they will um, either, you have to forgive each other, you know, for the reason, you know, the circumstance um, that's out of your control. You know, say I forgive you. The black swan, you may feel as though all of your potential was trapped inside and that you lacked resources back in those days to achieve your goals or your purposes in life and um, you just wanted, didn't want the commitment back then. That's what I'm feeling. <clears throat> now, the way I was about having compassion for the other person and seeing their side of the story, you know, um, I'm feeling that both of you love music back then. And, uh, you know, the, the music is the power in your relationship together because it heals. You know, compassion. I find compassion for myself and others. So whatever happened back in, in the day, Aquarius, you've got to forgive this person and feel compassionate towards them. Now you've got the dolphin, which is emotions. The dolphins are all swimming together here. So what you are doing is speaking gently from the heart with your emotions. Okay. This is a tight-knit group. So maybe you were in a tight-knit group back in those, those days. <clears throat> and um, maybe a message to remind you to value your friends and your social groups. And this is why the gardens come up. Because that is the public. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So there's some sort of message here. You know, uh, even though you left this person, you know, things, you've got to understand that things, there's no right or wrong reasons why you left. You know, you were young, you had your future to look forward to. And this person never forgot, never forgot you, okay? There was a lot of childhood playfulness, things that you did together in groups. And um, this person, person has been going with the flow, but had a lot of confusion in their life. Okay, so they want you to know that they have deep feelings for you because like, the dolphin and the fish, they're the deep blue sea and they're all about emotions and it's very deep, deep with compassion. So when this person comes back, you have to forgive them, forgive what was and, and forgive the person and yourself. Have compassion for whatever they've gone through or whatever you've gone through and um, things are going to start to... Be more calmer with the dove. Okay. There's a calmness coming in your life. Okay, this person is your twin flame. And your passion's got to ignite again. Okay, this is where the relationship or the promise is coming into it. Cupid's arrow is striking again for you. This is someone that has deep feelings for you and they've healed. You've healed, but, you know, maybe they're not letting on to other people. So that's all I have, guys, uh, for the week of the 22nd. I hope this helps, whoever it's meant to go out to, and I'll be happy to hear your comments if it resonates. Love to you all. Bye for now.